Hi, my name is Soumya Pillai. Welcome to another episode of Pure Science. Bird flu has haunted public health for decades, not because it frequently infects humans, but because of what it could become if evolution gives it the right set of advantages. A new study by Indian scientists has now brought some clarity on how exactly a virus that primarily infects birds adapts to spread efficiently among people. Now, to clarify, the research does not suggest that a bird flu pandemic is imminent. It, however, does map out the biological pathways that could make such a leap possible, offering a rare glimpse into the mechanics of a pandemic before it begins rather than after it has already taken hold. The focus of the study is H5N1, a highly pathogenic strain of avian influenza that has swept through wild birds and poultry across the world and has occasionally spilt over to humans. These human infections are rare, but when they do occur, they can be devastating with a fatality rate far higher than that of a seasonal flu. The reason H5N1 has not caused a pandemic so far lies in a technical but critical detail of viral biology where in the respiratory tract the virus can attach and replicate. Bird-adapted influenza viruses are tuned to bind to receptors that are abundant deep in the lungs, making them ill-suited for easy transmission between humans who mainly spread the respiratory viruses through nose and throat. Human-adapted flu viruses, by contrast, latch onto receptors in the upper airway allowing them to pass rapidly from one person to another through coughing, sneezing or even talking. The Indian researchers approached this problem by using computational models that analyze thousands of influenza genomes and simulate how the virus might evolve if given repeated opportunities to infect humans or other mammals. Instead of waiting for dangerous mutations to appear in real world, the models explore which genetic changes would most effectively shift the virus towards human compatibility. Central to this process is hemagglutinin, a protein on the virus's surface that acts like a molecular key, determining which cells the virus can enter. Smart alterations in hemagglutinin can change which receptor the virus prefers and the model suggests that a series of relatively modest mutation rather than a single dramatic change could gradually make H5N1 better at infecting human airways. One of the most unsettling conclusions is that this adaptation does not require widespread human infection to begin. A single spillover event such as a poultry worker becoming infected after prolonged exposure to sick birds, could give the virus a chance to experiment inside the human body. If that virus then passes back into animals or into another person, further mutations could accumulate. Over time, this step-by-step -step process could push the virus closer to efficient human transmission without ever triggering immediate alarm. This is why the research argues that evolutionary risk builds quietly, often invisibly, long before an outbreak becomes obvious. The study also highlights the growing concern around mammalian infections. In recent years, H5N1 has been detected in animals such as foxes and mink, and these cases have drawn intense scrutiny from virologists. Mammals occupy an evolutionary middle ground between birds and humans and a virus that adapts to replicate in a mammal has already overcome some of the biological barriers that separate avian viruses from human hosts. The model suggests that such mammalian infections could act as evolutionary stepping stones, subtly reshaping the virus in ways that make human infections easy or more severe. This does not mean that every infected mammal represents an imminent threat, but it does mean that surveillance focused only on birds risks missing critical early warning signs. What makes this research especially significant is the lesson it draws from recent history. COVID-19 demonstrated how quickly a novel virus can reshape the world when its early signals are overlooked or misunderstood. 
influenza has long been regarded as one of the most likely sources of the next pandemic precisely because of its ability to mutate reassort and adapt across species by using predictive models to anticipate dangerous evolutionary routes scientists hope to shift pandemic preparedness from reactive to preventive identifying high risk viral lineages in advance could guide targeted surveillance accelerate vaccine research and inform decisions about controlling outbreaks in animals before they spill over to humans crucially the current risk to the general public remains low there is no evidence that h5n1 can spread efficiently between humans today and most people will never come into the contact with this virus but the absence of immediate danger is not the same as the absence of risk evolution does not move with human timetables and viruses do not announce their intentions the value of this work lies in its ability to illuminate the narrow biological bridges that connect animal outbreaks to human pandemics the study reinforces a sobering reality of the modern world human health animal health and environmental changes are tightly intertwined as farming intensifies wildlife habitats shrink the global trade accelerates opportunities for viruses to jump species also multiplies that was all from me this week i am somya pillai and you were watching pure science